14 is a number that's used, probably underestimated because many don't get diagnosed. They often think that getting breathless as they get older or not having quite the exertional stamina is part of aging, but it's not. And we have a, a health challenge test that you can take that's on the www.lung.ca website and our website as well and in my health blog for smokers or former smokers who have any type of symptoms questions that they should ask themselves that can really help them to determine whether they're not uh, at risk. So do you cough regularly? That isn't normal. You shouldn't be coughing regularly at all. If you answer yes, that should heighten your awareness as right. one of the most important things. Not only along with the cough, but we worry, do you produce mucus or phlegm regularly? So when you cough, are you spitting something up? Mm -hmm. People often think, well, if, if, if it's not green, then it doesn't really mean anything. But sputum is sputum and chronic cough with sputum production or phlegm, as it's written there, is really worrisome. Do simple chores make you short of breath? You shouldn't get short of breath with simple chores. And it's not a function of aging, aging that you get more short of breath breath that's your lungs telling you that it's having trouble getting air in and do you wheeze when you exert yourself or at night that's the crossover sometimes with asthma asthma is what we call reversible airway disease so wheezing is not as large a component as you think but we can see it as well so all those things and frequent colds so they last longer than those around you because we know that patients with COPD are more prone to secondary infection and often will require antibiotics which leads us to why you're rolling up your arm on another note yes High-risk patients over the age of five, COPD, absolutely you must get the flu shot. But anybody over the age of six months, we encourage you to get the flu shot so that you break the train of transmission. I tell you that every year. I'm over the age of six months. Yes, and you can't get the flu from the flu shot. You're my, my biggest proponent of, of uh, getting the flu shot. And uh, you can be very brave and show everybody that this is really not a big deal. Well, I just saw Jeff do it ahead of me, so. Oh, my goodness. That's my biggest coup in my medical career was getting Jeff to get a flu shot on an annual basis. He actually comes looking for me now every year and wants a flu shot. He loves so, the way that you give a needle. Well, I'm just going to leave. You're very good there. at it. There you go. And you're done. Okay. Done. Done and done, and no. you're good for the season. Very quickly, yes. I mean, there are some people who are saying that this year's flu shot is not as effective as previous years. Any truth to that? There's been some concern that maybe this year's flu shot will see mutations in the viruses that are out there. We'll really have the answer in May after we've tracked the flu season. Remember, what's in your flu shot, three different strains, are based on the World Health Organization and what they predict. Prediction isn't always 100% accurate, but it's the best thing that we have right now. So adult immunization and kids over the age of six months, anybody with chronic illness, speak to your doctor and get the flu shot. It's the time. Thank you. You're welcome. Still to come, spending money on health care. Which provinces dole out a lot and which don't?